We were best friends. I mean, I, I knew everything about this girl. I knew her favorite color. I knew her favorite food. Yeah. and welcome back to Atomy Girls. So today I'm filming for you guys a video that I was planning to film like two years ago but I never really found the perfect concept um, until recently I really got inspired and I finally did it. So today I'm showing you guys how to recycle slash upcycle um, your school uniform. So my school uniform is pretty good quality and I didn't want to throw away all of that fabric without doing anything and so I kept it for two years. So for this DIY I actually used three school skirt and I actually only owned two of them so I asked my friend to give me one of hers so if you ever you want to do this but you only have one or two skirts you can always you can always ask your friends for their school uniform because they probably don't know what to do with it either I haven't had so much fun filming a DIY in so long so I really hope you guys enjoy this one and find inspiration out of it and let's get into it so this is my school uniform um, I'm not gonna be working with the top but I will be working with the skirt and for this DIY, I used three skirts, um, scissors, rulers, um, measuring tape, pins, two zippers, and just everything that you need for sewing. I used as a sample this pretty dress, and I cut out the front piece, the side piece, and the back piece. And then I cut out two of each, and for the back, you don't really need to do two pieces, you can just make like one big piece, if you know what I mean. So these are my three skirts and I'm just going to start off by sectioning, by separating the folds of the skirt from um, the flat fabric. So I couldn't use all of the flat fabric because some of them had holes in it because we put safety pin and it just really creates big holes. So this is the fabric that I was able to collect from only two skirts and that was just enough to do to the top. So I'm just cutting out all the pieces. So here are all of my four front pieces and as you guys can see there's like a top that is forming when I put them side by side. Then sandwich the front piece with the front side piece and sew them right sides together and do that for both sides. After they're sewn together it should look like this. Lay the two front pieces side by side then lay the, f the back piece on top of them and sew the sides right sides together. After everything is sewn together, um, cut off all the extra fabric and it should look like this long piece. And now you're just going to add the zipper. And this is honestly my favorite um, part because um, if you do it like this, it's just going to give a really clean look. So here I'm separating my zipper to make my life easier. And then lay the front of the zipper on the right side of the front piece. And then I laid on top of the zipper a strip of fabric. So now your zipper should be like in between two layers. And sew all of that together as close as possible to the zipper. And then to make everything hold in place, I sewed down next to the zipper. From Repeat the same steps to the other side and then cut off all of the extra fabric. Okay, so we're almost done the top, but now we're gonna have to add some straps and some lining. So for the lining and the straps, I've cut long strips of fabric from my third skirt, as you can see here. So for the straps, I'm not gonna do the like inside out loop thing. 
because I just always struggle to like turn it inside out. So how I'm gonna do it is like this. It's just gonna be really hard for me to explain it. So just watch the video and you'll understand how I made the straps. Honestly, I've always been really bad at explaining things. So making videos just makes my life so much easier. Okay, so now I'm placing the strap at the center of the front piece and then I'm adding strips of fabric for lining. And I find this part really fun to do. I don't know why, it's just really fun and it gives like a really clean look. So here I've sandwiched the straps in between two layers and then you're just gonna want to um, sew all of this down. And I'm also doing that for the bottom, obviously. I did that with a straight stitch, by the way. Okay, now I'm flipping everything on the right side so it gives like this clean look and then i'm gonna sew it down again um to just make everything stay all together and when i say that i'm gonna sew it down again it means like um it's gonna be apparent but it's gonna make everything look so much better so that was the final step for the top now we're gonna go um into the skirt so my school skirt only had folds at the back but not at the front so i've decided to create a skirt where um it's just it has fold all around the skirt so using two of the skirts i'm just gonna sandwich them together and only sew one side right sides together because we're gonna be adding zippers to the other side then you should try on the skirt and see how much extra fabric you should cut off Okay, so for the zipper, I have this really tiny zipper um, and I'm just going to sew that onto the skirt like, like I just showed you guys and then I'm connecting the other side of the zipper to the other side of the skirt and I'm just going to sew that down also. Um, it's basically the same technique at the, as the top and yeah. And then close the rest of the skirt. I'm go starting from the end of the zipper to the end of the skirt and then cut off all of the extra fabric and turn the skirt inside out and uh, we're pretty much done with the skirt. Okay, so last minute I've decided to add some like suspenders um, strap-ish to the skirt just to like really transform the skirt because it looks pretty much like my school skirt. So I cut about two strips of 32 inches and using the same technique as the straps of the top, um, I'm going to create some straps and then I'm attaching the two straps to the back of my skirt first and I'm adding two stitches on both of the straps and then I'm cutting off the excess and then I'm going to sew down two buns at the front to connect the straps to the front and then final step for the straps are to sew some buttonholes for the the end of the straps and also hem uh, the end of the strap so it doesn't like pop out and that's pretty much it for the skirt so this is the final look i really like this diy because you can style this in different look you can wear this as a skirt with the suspenders or as a two-piece matching set or even just as a dress when you connect the two pieces together. enjoyed this video i haven't had that much fun filming a video in a while and it was so fun sewing this diy so i hope you guys enjoyed it please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i don't really have anything else to add so i'm just going to leave you guys on this note and i will see you guys very very soon bye